Crowd Animator. In this video, we are going to animate this skateboard rider in After Effects using Big Bezier plugin. So let's start. So this is the illustration we are going to use in today's lesson. And if you want to learn how to design in flat style, how to design characters in flat style design, do check out my other tutorials on Adobe Illustrator. You will get the link in the description or you can get just click on the i button on the top right corner you will be able to see the playlist of the videos so go check that out and let's check out how i have separated the layers in adobe illustrator to prepare the file for animation so this is how i have separated the layers in illustrator i have also added a reference layer over here this is for rigging purpose now we are going to see more about this in after effects okay so i have separated each of the facial elements in a separate layer such as hair face cap and even eyes eyebrows all of them are in a separate layer the whole body is in a separate layer and even arm forearm and hand is in a separate layer and even thighs this one and foot and even the shoe portion is also in a separate layer and even for the skateboard this re reflection is also in a separate layer and this one is also in a separate layer so that if we rotate it it will give some illusion of this wheel is rotating and this whole board portion is also in a separate layer so this is how I have separated the layers in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Now let's jump on to After Effects and start with the rigging process. Right now we are inside of After Effects and here our first job is to select all the elements of head, portion and pre comp it. I'm going to put the anchor point of this head layer to somewhere around here at this particular circle. Okay, and I'm also going to move the anchor point of the neck and put it over here. So we are going to parent head with neck, neck with the body and for the body as well we are going to move the anchor point of the body and put it around here and let's parent neck with the body. Alright, now we are going to select this reference and right click on it create create shape from vector layer it will create an individual shape layer now we are going to turn on the twig bezier plugin and click on here rigging and click on here create structures and i'm going to create arm structure layers perfect now i'm going to select all these structure layers and put it above the arm one and let's solo the layer and let's reposition the structure layers. Now I'm going to parent arm with arm, forearm with forearm and hand one with hand. Okay, now select all the structure layers and click on here, links and constraints and click on auto rig to rig the hand. Okay now we are going to select the arm structure layer and parent it with body now we are going to turn off the visibility of the structure layers and shy it out so for that click on here and also turn on this one perfect now we are going to do the same for the other hand as well so click on here and click on arm structure layer again and repeat the process Okay, so with this, both the arms are rigged. Now we are going to rig the leg as well. So this time around, we are going to click on leg to create leg structure layers and select all the leg structure layers and put above leg one. Now reposition the structure layer. Okay, now let's parent the layer. So I'm going to parent thigh with thigh and this one with this one. 
we are going to parent the shoe or uh, all the other elements of the shoe with shoe this one but we are going to parent this particular circle with this side one because we are going to move we do want to move this circle with this with this one so that's why okay now let's select the shoe and parent it with foot okay now select all the structure layer and click on auto rig perfect now we are going to select the thigh layer and parent it with body and let's turn off the visibility and shy it out and we are going to do the same for the leg of the other side as well so let's do that as well Okay, so both the arms and legs are rigged properly. Now we are going to delete this reference layer because we don't need it anymore. And let's go inside the head layer and let's fix this thing. This reflection layer is just overlapping with the other layers. So we are going to first of all change its blending mode to overlay. And right now we are going to copy this glass layer again and let's rename it matte and put it above the reflection layer and use it as trap mat. perfect now we are going to animate this reflection layer so first of all open the position property put a keyframe next jump on to next let's say 20 frames and let's move this to the other side perfect and at this particular point we are going to move it to the opposite side and let's easy is it and add a loop expression which is loop in plus loop out minus the value perfect now yeah it's looking pretty nice now we are going to give some animation to the hair as well we are going to add some wavy animation to the hair so for that we are going to add pins in this hair so we are going to add a pin over here add one over here and add one over here perfect and let's select the puppet over here and come over here in twig and click on bone so here three bones have been created so let's name the bottom one one and let's rename accordingly first perfect now parent three with two two with one and we are going to only work with one and two open the rotation property and put a keyframe jump on to next eight frames and again we are going to rotate it slightly let's give it minus 10 and let's give this one minus 12 or minus 25 and at this particular point let's rotate it in the opposite side so 8 degrees and 20 degrees perfect and now again jump on to next 8 frames and copy the initial keyframes and paste it over here so ctrl c and ctrl v select the keyframe ctrl c and ctrl v perfect and let's easy is it and now i'm going to copy this loop expression and press alt to open this panel and paste the expression over here again do the same for the number two as well and let's offset this so i'm going to offset it by two frames and let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice so i'm going to unsolo the layers yeah it's looking pretty nice so right now we are going to first of all move this skateboard and press y and move this anchor point over here and let's move uh, let's give it an up and down movement in the skateboard 
So for that, let's turn off this one and let's pre-comp all these layers inside the character. So remember to select the controller layers and first of all select all the character layers and then select the controller layers as well and just pre-comp it. Perfect. Now we are going to put it below the skateboard and parent it with skateboard. All right. Now we are going to add position and rotation keyframe. So we are going to separate the layers and we are going to only put keyframe on the Y axis. Now let's jump on to eight frames and let's move it down a bit. And also I'm going to rotate it and come on this one on the first keyframe and let's rotate it in the opposite side as well. Okay, and now let's jump on to next eight frames and copy the initial keyframes and let's easy is it and I'm going to copy the loop expression from here press alt to open this panel and paste it over here same with this one okay now let's offset the keyframes I am offsetting it by four frames and let's check out our animation well it's looking pretty nice okay now we are going to select these both reflection layers open the rotation property we are going to pick with one rotation with the one layer because if we move or rotate one layer both of them will move together so we are going to put a keyframe over here and jump on to next eight frames and give it three full rotations let's turn on the motion blur check our animation okay we needed to put the add the loop expression okay but i think we need to rotate it in the opposite side so let's go to keyframe assisted time reverse keyframes now let's check out okay let's turn on the motion blur on the second layer and let's check out yeah it's looking pretty nice now add some animation to the character as well so for that let's open the character precomp at this particular point we are going to give it a timing of 8 frames itself which is uh, just same as the skateboard so select the body layer and open the position property and put a keyframe rotation property and put a keyframe now well we are also going to do one thing we are going to select the hand one and hand two and parent it with body so if we move it it will move together and later on we can even if we want you can even move it individually as well okay now let's jump on to next eight frames and at this point it is going down so again the body will go down a bit perfect and let's rotate it slightly in the front side not this much but uh, by around three degrees okay we needed to do one thing we need to parent this collar with neck so let's do that now we are going to add rotation to the neck and head as well so again we are going to rotate it and let's give it four degree of rotation and head three degree of rotation perfect and at this particular point we are going to rotate it in the opposite side let's give it minus two degree of rotation perfect let's easy is it and again we are going to jump on to next eight frames and complete our loop by copy this copying the initial keyframes and pasting it over here perfect and let's check our animation first so bring the work area in by pressing n okay this is moving too much at this particular so what we are going to do is we are going to move it slightly backward let's check it now
well uh, let's move it further yeah both of them are moving together so this one is looking better perfect now we are going to add some animation to the hand as well so open the position and rotation keyframe key a property and put a keyframe on each of it and at this particular point we are going to move the hand and rotate it perfect and at this particular point let's move it and put it around here and let's fix the motion path perfect do the same with the other hand as well okay now jump on to next eight frames and just copy and paste the initial keyframe perfect and now we are going to put loop expression to all of this copy the loop expression and paste it over here in all of these properties perfect and now let's offset it Okay, now let's check our animation. Yeah, now it's looking better and we can even just turn on the blending mode. I mean, we can change the blending mode and give it a overlay. Yeah, now it's looking even better. Okay, so that is how you can animate a skateboard character in After Effects. And even you can add some more actions to the skateboard character just by using the same technique I have shown you guys. So do try it on your own. Design the character. If you want to learn how to design characters in flat style, do check out my other tutorials on Adobe Illustrator. You will get the link on the i button on the top right corner. Go check that out and do try out this animation and let me know if you have any doubt regarding it so that is it for this lesson hope you like it if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye